All right, let's solve the following problem using the square root method. So first thing I'm going to do is take the square root of both sides. What I end up with is x minus 2. This gets rid of the squared term. And over here, though, we got to be careful. Because we're taking the square root, we take it um, plus or minus 5. So in this instance, we're going to have x is equal to negative plus or minus 5. And then we're going to add 2. So we end up with x is equal to negative 3 or 7. But let's check this real quick. Just don't take my word for it. So we're going to have um, negative 3 minus 2 squared is equal to 25. And then we'll have um, 7 minus 2 squared is equal to 25. So we end up with negative 5 squared is equal to 25. So negative 5 times negative 5 is equal to 25. So that checks out. Over here, 7 minus 2, 5 squared equals 25. That's correct. So 5 times 5 does equal 25. And that's it. All right. I hope this helped you out. Thanks for watching. You have a great day.